VVTI system is Toyota's version of variable valve timing technology designed to optimize engine performance, fuel economy, and emissions. Here's a professional overview of how it works. Well, one, purpose of VVTI. VVTI adjusts the timing of the intake camshaft and in some systems the exhaust camshaft to suit engine operating conditions. This improves power at high RPMs, fuel efficiency at low RPMs, emissions control. Nasher 2. Main components. VVTI controller. Camshaft phaser. Mounted on the camshaft, this alters the camshaft position relative to the crankshaft. Oil control valve. OCV VVT solenoid. Controls the flow of engine oil to the VVTI controller. Engine control module. ECM. Monitors engine parameters and commands the VVTI system. 3. Operating principle. 1. ECM monitoring. The ECM monitors engine speed, load, throttle position, coolant temp, and more. 2. Activation. When conditions are met, e.g. during acceleration, the ECM sends a signal to the OCV. 3. Oil pressure application. The OCV regulates oil pressure sent to the camshaft phaser. Hydraulic pressure rotates the camshaft slightly to advance or retard the valve timing. 4. Dynamic adjustment. Timing changes continuously, not in fixed steps. For example, advanced timing, intake valves open earlier for better performance. Retarded timing, intake valves open later for improved fuel efficiency and reduced NOx emissions. Note for the VI system, single VVTI, intake camshaft only. Dual VVTI, both intake and exhaust camshafts common in newer models. VVTLI, variable valve timing and lift, also changes valve lift at high RPMs used in performance engines. Common issues, dirty or clogged oil control valve, sludge buildup in oil passages, worn VVT gear or actuator, faulty cam or crank position sensors. Here is a